We just heard uh, the director general of the World Health Organization saying, look, the coronavirus spread outside China is slow. Is that thanks to the efforts being put in place? Uh, absolutely, yes. And I think the, um, uh, that is the main reassuring uh, aspect of this uh, epidemic at the moment. But uh, so far, spread outside has been limited to largely limited to people coming directly from China. What do we know about the coronavirus? So we know that Italy isolated, um, you know, the, 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 basically the, the sickness. Uh, we know that France has isolated the sickness. How long will it take to have a vaccine once you isolate it? Right. Well, uh, people are working on this at the moment. Often it takes years to produce a vaccine, but uh, people are now hopeful that we might have something usable within uh, six, seven months. Um, but it's uh, vaccine production is never an easily predicted thing. You have to uh, manufacture the vaccine. You have to then test it for safety and effectiveness. And, um, and uh, the, all that takes time. So and then once you know you've gone, got to manufacture and for uh, um, sufficient doses and, and for a, uh, a an infection like this, we are probably talking about many, many millions of doses that would be required if the infection hasn't burnt itself out by, by the time the vaccine becomes available. Uh, pr professor, what do we understand about the mortality rate of this? Is, is this uh, not unlike a flu influenza that we get every year? It's certainly not like Ebola, but I'm not sure you know, how many yeah. cases of people have actually recovered. Do we understand that yet? Yeah, yeah. I, I think we I think we we've got a fairly good handle on this. And there's two aspects to mortality. The first is the probability of getting the infection, and the second is once you have the infection, how likely you are to die. We know from um, uh, as it stands at the moment that of the cases that we know about, about two two and a half percent of those are, are sadly dying. The um, that figure will is probably an overestimate compared to um, some some people are estimating that the number of undiagnosed cases are actually many more uh, several times greater than the uh, the number of diagnosed cases. So the the mortality rate of two in a hundred is is on purely on diagnosed cases. In terms of the prior um, coronavirus infections like SARS or Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome (MERS). That's substantially lower. SARS was the mortality rate was about 10 percent, and MERS uh, substantially higher still. On the other hand, this infection is spreading rather more quickly than SARS. We uh, it took about in, for SARS it was about 8,000 cases over about seven months, and we're easily past that now uh, within seven weeks. So, you know, uh, how the what the total number of cases will be ultimately is unclear. Um, in 2009, we had a pandemic of influenza, which was estimated to kill somewhere between a quarter and half a million people globally. I think we are, uh, even I suspect in the worst case scenarios for this coronavirus, we're going to see substantially less than that, but probably ultimately more deaths than we saw with SARS 20 years mm -hmm. ago. Uh, Professor, is there at the moment something that works? Is there, a, you know, a medicine that makes you get better, or do people just get better on their own? Uh, no, there isn't. Um, uh, the, there are, uh, antibiotics do not work. Um, people are uh, investigating antiviral agents um, to treat this, but uh, as yet, there's no convincing evidence of their effectiveness.